Hey, boo boo, do you hear about the 5800X leak? And huh, that LG is really acha this time. Hey, talk to me, ah. Don't go anywhere. This is MLM. A new era of leadership performance across computing and graphics is coming. Join us on October 8 and October 28 to learn more about the big things on the horizon for PC gaming. Isn't that amazing? We only have a few more days until AMD's Zen 3 based processors are revealed. Are you guys excited? Although they are still running on 7 nanometer process, they are actually running on TNMC's improved 7 nanometer process that should at least boost 15% in IPC improvement. All this without a shrink. Wow. Last week, Twitter leakster Tomb Apishak posted some juicy benchmarks of the Ryzen 7 5800X that has 8 cores and 16 threads, allegedly. Oh yeah, by the way, AMD is expected to skip the 4000 series branding on desktop altogether and jump straight into 5000 series instead. So let's see if that is true. The benchmarks looks like screenshot of the Ashes Singularity Benchmarks database. And oh my, is AMD gonna kick some this time? Running on a crazy 4K benchmark preset, the 5800X got an average CPU frame rate of 167 FPS on a normal batch, 135 FPS on a medium batch, and 110 FPS for the heavy batch. For comparison, the 10 core 23 i9 10900K scored 136 FPS, 119 FPS, and 96 FPS, respectively. This benchmark should work quite well running DirectX 12. So it is a promising sign that an 8-core Ryzen 7 can comfortably beat Intel's current 10-core i9. Looks like AMD is not getting off the CPU choo choo train anytime soon. Are they planning to run over Intel's single-core or multi-core performance offerings? Well, we can only find it out on October 8th. If you guys are trying to stay active during the RMCO but can't stop taking selfies of yourself or even videos, then hola, up here, look here, here's a device that suits you. Anyway, ASUS released a mobile gimbal. It is called the Zen Gimbal. It supports low angle and wide angle shooting, features POV mode and sports mode as well as free shooting. It also has a rotating pan axis that allows you to shoot freely in 360 degrees without dead angles, meaning you can keep rotating it. Infinite rotation. The gimbal costs around 600 ringgit and you can purchase it on Shopee or Lazada. But yala, gimbals are great for shooting videos or pictures, kind of essential for videographers. But if you shoot videos and take pictures on your mobile phone, do you really need a gimbal? Well, luckily, this gimbal can be used on previous generation lighter GoPro cameras, so I guess it is not that bad after all. And it is a better and cheaper option for your GoPro cameras. So, guys, have you used a mobile gimbal before? If yes, do you use it on a regular basis? I don't think so. If you have gunk all over your headphones and earbuds and you find it a hassle to clean them regularly, well, LG has the solution for you, dirty out there. LG launched two wireless earbuds, the HBS FN6 and HBS FN4, which just made their way into Malaysia recently because I, of course our Malaysians always get things last. Anyway, here is what's up. Both earbuds feature 6mm drivers tuned by the British audio expert. The earbuds also have headphone spatial processing and a set of specially made equalizer presets. Both have a battery life of up to 6 hours with additional 12 hours that can be charged via their charging cases. But what is the difference between the two? The HBS FN6 comes with wireless charging and also a built-in UV sanitizer. Wait, what? Both models are available on LG's official store on Lazada and Shopee for a promo price from the 1st to the 10th of October this year. The one with the sanitizing function will cost you $4.99 while the non-sanitizing function one will cost you $2.99. Well, if you guys have been wanting to get your hands on some super acha earbuds, don't say Michelle never joke. Well, I wonder if you can sanitize my phone too. With Halloween coming soon, it is no surprise that Animal Crossing New Horizon will be dropping something to 
keep your fans in awe. The update is dropping today la, during the time of recording this episode so do not blame me if I miss anything. Here is what I know. Number one, you can now grow pumpkins which can then be harvested and used for DIY projects. Number two, new costumes like Mage's dress at Able Sisters will be available in different color options. Woohoo! Number three, you can also collect candles for the big day on October 31st. Wait, what's happening? This is what's happening. Number four, on October 31st itself, you can exchange lollipops and candies for in game rewards with a mysterious guest named Jack. But make sure you keep some candies for your neighbors, like, if not, they'll pull a prank on you, like taking away your item. <laughs> Number five, New reactions to express fear so that you can go around scaring people but like Animal Crossing is so cute Scare what? Whoa I love the thematic updates but with Fall Guys and Among Us being so trendy these days Are you guys still spending ungodly amount of hours on Animal Crossing? Let us know Microsoft is about to release a Super King Chow Xbox app for iPhone users So take that enjoy users <laughs> So why is this update Super King Chow? That's because it allows Xbox users to stream games to their iPhone So how does it work? After you enable access to your Xbox console over 5G, 4G or even Wi-Fi, you can start your console remotely just with your iPhone! So you can basically play games remotely. You can also quickly download or share game clips from your iPhone or even delete and manage your console plays from your iPhone. This app isn't available for download yet because it's currently tested by test flight members. But it looks like this update will come in time just for Xbox Series S and Xbox Series X launch in November. But do you think people actually use this feature after they purchase the Super King Chao Xbox Series S or X consoles there? Will this be an unnecessary feature like the PS4 remote play that launched in 2014 but only became more useful this year during the pandemic? Well, I guess I'm not part of their market because why would I want to play console games on such a small screen when I have a big TV in my room? But I guess if you're waiting for your girlfriend or your wife to do their shopping, you can stand in the corner and game law. Moving on to the comment section. Albert Zen said, Nvidia 3000 series cards plagued by players crashing to desktop when trying to play games like, Wow, when it rains, it pours yeah. Don't use Nvidia lo. Chai lo, or don't play games lo. <laughs> yeah, then no problem lo. <laughs> yeah lo. <laughs> Kok Chin Siang said, Best MLM ever! Of course, when you two put high energy balls together, you get a crazy energy ball! Nah, Rizzo Ashraf Kadri said, Definitely Muds. Nice war! Monday logins with Michelle and Muds and Main. Sounds good too. And Main? Hey, you know what? Technically, mm -hmm. Monday logins with Mob House Productions, M and P, right? Monday logins with Michelle and Puds! Oh my god! We found a loophole! We found a loophole! Your production quality is great, but the reason I'll keep watching is the great energy and corny jokes the hosts have. What do you mean by hosts? Do you mean ghosts? Huh? Roar! Hey, that's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. You drink coffee a lot, right? Mm. Yeah. But yes, we have a lot of energy because of coffee! coffee! We are glad that you enjoy MLM and we are always dedicated and committed to making it better. So if you like our MLM, watch more MLM! And don't forget our other videos, okay? Unboxing, like, happy days, like. what else do we have? Uh? Yes. Technically, uh. yeah. Yeah, technically. Michelle! Yeah! Hilarious! <laughs> Bye!